for this lesson, our goal is going to be to identify and correctly apply the vowel team O as well as the vowel team for OW. As a reminder, we're working with vowel teams. Remember, vowel teams are vowels that are joined with another letter, and they work together to make a sound. Sometimes both letters are vowels, but not always. On the following slides, we're going to be introduced to the new sounds and a word that follows the pattern. I want you to practice by saying the letter word sound after I say it. The first sound is O-A. O-A, boat, O. Go ahead and repeat that. The next sound is O-E. O-E, toe, O. And repeat, O-E, toe, O. The next sound we have is O-W. O-W, snow, O. Go ahead and repeat that, O-W, snow, O. We're going to think about the three words we heard, boat, toe, and snow. And our vowel teams were the O-W, the O-E, and the O-A. We're going to think first about what did these three sounds have in common, what made them different, and how are we going to know when to use them. So in that first part, what did all the sounds have in common? When I look at boat, I'm looking at the O sound. In toe, I see an O. And in snow, I hear an O sound. So all of these have the long O vowel sound. The next part we need to think about is what makes the sounds different. When I look at each of these, even though they sound the same, their appearance is different. One has an A, one has an E, and one has a W. Determining how we'll know when to use them can be pretty tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the next page and we're going to work on some different words that have these sounds and determine when to use them. Let's start by looking at some words that have the OA in them. Some examples of words with OA would be words like foam, road, coasting. Bloat. Notice in each of these with the OA, the OA falls within the word. For the next part, we're going to look at the OE. With the OE sound, we have words like do, toe, wo, aloe, tiptoe. Notice for all these with the O, E at the, uh, in the word, they all come at the end of the word. And for O, W, we have words like tow, like to tow your car, not tow like your toe, grow. Then we have words like shown. We also have words that are compound words like snowstorm, which has the O sound with the OW in the middle of the word. So OW can either be at the end of a word or in the middle of a word. OE is going to be a sound that comes at the end of a word. And OA is going to be a sound that usually comes inside a word, in the middle of a word. Learning when to use them can be as simple as just getting used to looking at the word and deciding which one looks the best to go in that spot. The next sound we're going to be working with is the OU combination. OU, trout, ow. In this word trout, You can see the OU, you'd mark it by circling it and writing a D below it. And the OU says OW. The next combination is an OW, which will have a very similar sound to the last pattern we did. OW, plow, 
ow. Notice how this OW is different from our last OW. Last time we had OW for snow. This time we have OW for plow. It makes a very different sound. It's still the double vowel sound, but in this case the OW says ow. As we look at the two words, plow and trout, let's think together about what do these sounds have in common, what makes them different, and how will we know when to use them. Notice that both of them have the double vowel sound, and both of them make the sound ow. What makes them different is that one is spelled with a W and the other one is spelled with a U. And how we're going to know when to use them, we'll be looking at on the next slide in order to get a better picture of how to know which one to write as you hear that sound in a word. We're going to practice building words with OU and OW that make the OW sound. So as we begin, I want you to pay attention to the words and what you notice to be different between the two. For our OU words, we're going to use the words loud, trout, found, pout, and out. Notice how in each of these words the OU is inside the word or at the beginning of the word, never at the end. With OW OW, we have the words owl, frown, brow, drown, and cow. In words that have OW, you will notice that the OW sound can be in any part of the word. So it's going to take some practice in seeing words to know which one to use if you see an owl sound or hear an owl sound on the inside of the word or at the beginning of a word. If it's at the end of the word, it's likely going to be OW. As a reminder and with our new sounds, let's start practicing doing some marking of the different vowel teams. So in order to do this, we are going to remember mark the syllable, circle the vowel team, and write a D below for double vowel. Again, make sure you circle that vowel team, you scoop the syllable, and you write a D underneath for the vowel team. Circle the vowel team, scoop the D underneath. In this word, you have drow Z. That Y is actually a suffix, but your OW is your double vowel. In the word trout, we have ow, and that is our double vowel. Let's take a little time to discuss the difference between o like snow and ow like plow. If you remember in the last lesson when we talked about this o like snow, it usually only comes at one part of the word, the end of the word. Like these words, flow, toe, show, crow, row. While we know that ow can come at the end of the word, ow is special and we can recognize it in words because it can also come in other parts of the words. For instance, in these, flower, tower, shower, crowd, rowdy. So if you see an ow inside of a word, it's likely to say the ow sound. We are going to practice marking some words together. The first word I want to mark with you is the word window. It's a multisyllabic word. You can see two syllables, win, do. So I mark both of them as being separate syllables. I then look at the syllable win. Notice that the i is a short sound, which tells us that this is a closed syllable. I then have do that has the ow, like snow. So I circle my double vowel sound and I can write a D below it. 
The next word we're going to talk about is the word county. Notice I have county. T-Y, remember, is one of our suffix endings. So I'm just going to circle that as the ending. In this case, I again have a double vowel, and I can circle the O-U as being my double vowel. The next word we're going to look at is drowsy. In this case, again, we have a Y suffix. Drow is a syllable. We can mark the O-W as being a double vowel. The next one is roadblock. In this case, it's a compound word. We have two syllables, road and block. In this case, we can mark the OA as being a double vowel, and the word block is a closed syllable, short sound. Write this one with me as I write it for practice. The next one we're going to do is the word overthrow. How many syllables do you hear? Overthrow. Well, this time we actually hear three syllables because over, although is a compound word overthrow, over is two syllables by itself, followed by throw. The syllable O is a long vowel sound, and it's a open syllable. Ver shows our R-controlled sound with the ER sound. Then we have throw with the OW being a double vowel sound. So go ahead and write that down if you have not already. The next one I want to mark for yourself, I want you to mark for yourself, is the word discount. Decide how many syllables it is. You should be thinking one, two, discount. The first syllable, you hear the I, so what kind of syllable is that? You should be marking it as a short closed syllable. And then we have count. And in that syllable, we have the ow sound with the O-U. So how will we mark that underneath? It should be marked with the double vowel sound. Write down this word chowder. Take a moment to mark it on your own, and then I will show you the markings. When you hear the word chowder, we have two syllables, chow-der. In this case, the first syllable has our double vowel sound, ow, followed by der, which in this case is an R-controlled sound. This time, our demonstration words this week are a little different because we have the same word twice. There are some times in the English language that we have words that we can use for different meanings, but we say the same word, okay? So we're going to talk about that with these words. And we have bound for both words. I'm going to go ahead and show you the markings of it together. Remember that we have one syllable, bound, and our OU is our double vowel sound. So I can mark it with a D for double vowel. And then I'm going to look at the definition and why there are two of them. Bound can mean when something is held or tied tightly. The papers were bound together with string. Bound can also mean when something is sure to take place. The victory was bound to happen. You can see the word is the same, but it has two different meanings. Remember with our high frequency words, we like to look at each word so that as we work with them, we can determine um, how to spell them and be practicing that spelling. Our first word is color. I want you to spell this for yourself. Tap it on the table as you say the letters, spell it out. And then I want you to come up with a sentence you could use for the word color. C, 
O L O R. Write it out on the table for yourself. C O L O R. Come up with a sentence. Okay, the next word you're going to do is the word follow. Follow. Remember, I say it, spell it, and then I want you to use your finger to be able to spell it on the table as well. F O L L O W. F O L L O W. If it helps you to write these down as you're working, that can be a good resource for you later to help you practice and remember these words. The next word is the word different. Different. D I F F E R E N T. Remember to write it out on the table with your finger. D I F F E R E N T. The last word is about. A B O U T. A B O U T. So for today's lesson as a recap, we identified and created words using the O sound, we, and we also identified and created words using the OW sound. We compared words to determine correct spelling with long vowel sounds, and we introduced new demonstration words and high frequency words. So in this lesson, we are going to be able to identify a variety of vowel teams, including U, 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 and all. The vowel team combinations in this lesson are OA, OE, OW, OU, UE, EW, OO, AU, and AW. As a reminder, vowel teams are vowels that are joined with another letter and they work together to make a sound. Sometimes both letters are vowels, but not always. On the following slides, we're going to be introduced to the new sounds. Remember to practice by saying the letters word, sound, after me. The first sound we're going to look at is U-E. U-E, blue, U. So when I look at that word blue, I'm going to circle the U-E, and I'm also going to mark that this is a double vowel sound. The next sound we're going to look at is E-W. E-W, chew, oo. With this word, we're going to look at chew. We're going to be able to mark it as a double vowel, because as you know, that's what we're working on. And I'm going to be able to circle the E-W. Remember, like I said before, it does not always have to be two vowels. You can have a vowel that works with another letter in order to make one sound, in this case, ew. The third sound of this group is OU. OU, soup, ew. Now, we talked about OU before in a word where it said ow, but in this case, the OU says ew in a word like soup. You would mark this by marking the double vowel and circling that OU that worked together to say OO. Our next sound is OO. OO, school, OO. So this OO is very close to that OO sound. So I'm going to write it school. I'm going to circle that OO and mark this as being a double vowel sound. And it's just going to go along with the other three that we were talking about. Let's look at these words and determine kind of what they have in common and what we can look at with them. The first one was blue. And we had chew. And then we had soup. 
and the last was school. All of them have an ooh sound. Ooh. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to write down that what they have in common for sure is that all of them make that ooh sound. And the way we write that sound is we write a U, but then we put two little dots on the top to indicate that ooh sound. Because it's not a long U. It doesn't say U. It says ooh. What makes them different from each other is that the combinations are different to make that sound. And even with the sounds, they are slightly different depending on the combination. With school, and then with the other three, you can notice that you have one that's U-E, one that's E-W, and one that's O-U. So they don't have any letters that are there every single time. It's all different combinations that make these sounds. The last question that we focus on is how will we know when to use them? And we're going to look at some of these in order to determine help for how to know when to use them and what we might need to do. We're going to practice building words that have these ooh sounds. So we're going to start with U-E, and as we go through, we're going to see what these words have in common with each other and what makes them different about placement. So we would, when we look at U-E, some words that stand out that have U-E in them as an ooh sound are words like blue, true, glue, revenue, words that have EW would be words like grew, drew, screwdriver, outgrew. Notice that in all of these words with both of these, as you look at the words, that UE falls at the end of a syllable. And I say that even with screwdriver, because although it's in the middle of the word, it's a compound word, and it's at the end of that syllable, screw. So it falls at the end of the syllable, U. So these are both ones that fall at the end of syllables. For OU, we look at words like soup, group, youthful or youth, coupon. Notice that all of these OUs fall within a syllable. And for OO, we have a pretty different sound anyway, so we should recognize it as sounding a little bit different than the other three. But some word examples for these would be ones like gloom, drool, rooster, bamboo. This sound usually appears in the middle and sometimes at the end of a word. It's not going to become at the beginning. So we're looking at within or at the end, but the sound is slightly different than the others and should stand out to you as being different. Our next double vowel set is UE. UE, rescue, you. In this case, we have a word rescue And this U-E is our double vowel. Also notice we have another syllable, so I'll mark that as closed. What's important about this is that in this case, the double vowel makes that long U sound. So I can mark it as a long U. So we're going to talk about that word rescue. And as we stated before, that U-E makes our long U sound. We are going to talk about what we've determined in the past about how we can make that long U sound in other ways. Remember we talked before about how with a VCE word, we can have a word like mule. The U becomes long because this silent E makes the U long. 
So any word that follows the VCE pattern with the U could have that long U sound. It can also have the OO sound that we talked about before, like rule. Additionally, we could have a word that has an open syllable. But what's tricky about U is, is that when it has the open syllable for U, it usually does not come at the end of an entire word. So for example, an open syllable word that has U is a word like pupil. In this case, the open syllable comes in the first syllable of the word pupil. The U is long and it's an open syllable, but it does not come at the end of a word. The way we know when to use this vowel team is if that long U sound comes without a consonant at the end of a word. For example, Q, rescue, value, argue, venue, etc. Notice that all of these come at the end of a word. And that is the placement for this UE long U sound. Our next sound is OO. OO, book, U. Uh. So in this example, we have the word book. Sorry, you didn't have the picture and word. I'm not really sure what happened with that. But in this case, the OO says U. Uh. So we're going to practice with how that's different than the word like school where you have ooh. This one is uh like book. Looking at the word we came up with, book, are there any other words you can come up with that have the same uh sound? Some examples you might come up with by rhyming would be examples like look, took, crook. Brook. But some examples you might come up with aside from words that rhyme and are still single syllable words are words like soot, good, hood, wool, etc. You can also look at words that are multisyllabic words like notebook, childhood, fish hook. Goodwill, pocketbook, mistook, etc. If you look at all these words, you'll notice that that OO still comes inside of the word, just like it did when the OO was OO. Our next sound is AU. AU, August, all. Notice that when I write this word, August, first of all, it has two syllables August. All is a syllable all by itself, and it's actually our double vowel syllable. Gust is a closed syllable, so I can write that down next to it. The next set of letters is AW. AW, Saul, all. In this case, I have the word Saul. I can mark it by writing a circle around my AW and marking the double vowel sound underneath. Notice that in this case, the AW is at the end of the word saw. Let's go ahead and talk about these two words. We had August with all at the beginning, and we had the word saw with all at the end. So let's talk about what do these two have in common? What makes them different? And how will we know when to use them? Well, what they have in common is that all sound. We write down all, we actually do it with an O that has a dot over the top of it. And each of these also has a letter that they have in common. They both have the letter A within the sound. What makes them different is the letter that goes with the A. In some all words, you have AU. And in some all words, you have AW. So determining when to use them is going to be determined on the part of the word that you find them in.
let's practice building words by looking at AU and AW, and that way we can determine how we know when to use them. So for AU words, we look at words, for instance, like auto, fault, jaunt, Haunt, fraud, etc. Notice where you find the all in all of these words. Each one has all either at the beginning or in the middle of the word. Or syllable. With AW it's going to look a little different. We have words like straw, law, flawless, fawn, Drawn, shawl, hawk, saw. As you look at these, you will notice that not all of them are at the end. A good many either fall at the end or they might even be um, close to the end by being at the end of the syllable. Some are right in the middle of the word like in fawn, drawn, shawl, hawk. What's going to be important for you to know is that AW can either fall in the middle of the word or the end of the word, but it will not be at the beginning of the word. Let's take a moment to listen to these again so that we can compare sounds that have the same spelling. We have now looked at two examples of UE, how they can sound different. UE, blue, ew. So we're going to listen to both. UE, blue, ew. UE, UE, rescue. So in this case, we have oo and you. Oo and you. Now let's look at O O and how we can compare o, those o, sounds. O O school O. O O book O. Uh. Now in this case we have O O O like school O, uh. and we have O uh, like book O O. Uh. Very similar sounds, but they do make a different sound. O U. Let's soup, look down at the O U and see what we hear. O U soup O. O O U trout owl. So in this case, we have O U that can say O like soup, and we have O U that can say owl like trout. O and owl. We talked before about making the long U sound. Let's, as a quick reminder, look over the different ways that we can make this sound that we have learned so far. Remember we talked about how you can have a vowel consonant E, for instance, mule, where the U is long because the E is silent. We can also have an open syllable. in which case you would have a word like pupil, where the open syllable has to be the first syllable in the word, in a multisyllabic word. So in this case, we have pupil. And then we could have a word, like we talked about today, that has the U-E double vowel sound. For instance, the word Q or rescue. It comes in the second part of a word, for a multisyllabic word or a single syllable word, and you would circle the UE and write a D underneath to show that it's the double vowel sound. 
In this lesson, we have three demonstration words to go over, and we're going to look over each one. We're going to mark them and discuss them a little bit. The first one is Q. In this word, it's one syllable, so I'm going to mark the one syllable. I'm going to circle the UE because it's a double vowel sound and write a D underneath to represent double vowel. My next word is fraud. I again only have one syllable, so I can mark it as one syllable. I see that AU, which makes the all sound, and that's a double vowel sound. And my last word is flawless. In this case, I have two syllables, flaw, less, but less, remember, is our suffix at the end that we were practicing. So I'm going to circle that as a suffix. And then for all, I'm going to circle the AW, and I'm going to put a D underneath to show the double vowel. Each of these words, we're going to go over the meaning, and I'm going to give you a sentence. I'd like you to try and come up with your own sentence. For Q, it's a signal to do something that is planned. For example, when the director gave the Q, the band started to play. Go ahead and think of your own sentence for the word Q. The next word is fraud. A plan or action that is wrong and meant to fool someone. The promise of free rent was a fraud. Go ahead and come up with your own sentence for the word fraud. And the last word is flawless. The definition for that is something that has no mistakes and is perfect. The sentence is, the new unit test is flawless. Go ahead and come up with your own sentence for the word flawless. So we're going to be going over the high frequency words. Remember with these, you want to spell the words as you see them. So even if you do it on your tabletop or whatever you have available, as you see the word come up, I'd like you to spell it um, using your finger um, or some other tactile way. Make sure you're doing them as I'm doing them. The first one is laugh. L-A-U-G-H. L A U G H. Take a moment to think of a sentence that you know that has the word laugh in it. Next is the word because. B E C A U S E. B E C a U S E. Take a moment to think of a word that has, or a sentence that has the word because in it. The next word is caught. C A U G H T. C A U G H T. The last word is the word mountain. M O U N T A I N. M O U N T A I N. Come up with a sentence for the word caught and then come up with a sentence for the word mountain. As a lesson recap, let's go over what we did today. Today, we identified and created words using the new vowel teams. Oo, you, oo, and all. We also compared words to determine correct spelling with long vowel sounds. And we introduced the new demonstration words and high frequency words.